Hello and welcome to the Made in the AM podcast. My name is V and I am coming to you from Denmark. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry and social media as F, which I'll put down below. And today I'm joined by my bestie. That would be me. I am Louisa. I am on... <laughs> I'm gonna be on the... You <laughs> was cool. Det er næste, der kan jeg huske, hvad podcasten hedder. <laughs> ja, det kan man ikke se. Visible ink. <sighs> er du klar? Ja. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Made in the AM podcast. My name is Fie and I'm coming to you from Denmark. You can find me on Ravelry and social media as F, which I'll put down below somewhere. I'm joined today by my bestie. That would be me. I am Louise. I'm also known as Luniversal on Ravelry. I am Maypalm and Snapchat and Instagram. It's Luniversal. Because I'll I put my that entire universe. So. Yeah, I'll put that down below. Below, below. And um, do you have any FOs? No, because it was a complete surprise attack that I've known about for a whole week. So I have nothing. Okay. I have an FO. A slightly damp FO because it was finished <laughs> last night and washed last night and didn't dry. But I finished my threshold. I can, Oh, it's a two-person job to hold the sweater. <laughs> This is why I, I invited her, not because I like her, but and because she can steal the sweater. Yeah, she's going to knit her own. Yes. This is mine. Actually, I am going to knit my own out of Volmeister in Fuchsia in the Pure. I ordered three skeins. Yes. This was knit out of the Hedgehog Fibers Twist in the Bali colorway. Um, Any modifications? The sleeves are shorter. Than they're supposed to be. Oh, they're full length. Yeah, these are because because it's a saddle shoulderish type. These will actually be three quarter length on me. Very nice. Because we have it? all the long arms, the long legs and the long arms. So. Because I'm like ten foot tall and <laughs> really long arms. <laughs> the female you break it in. <laughs> And the giggly show. This is the Giggly Show, yes. and it won't be edited, and yeah, it this is long and painful. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're always like, I'm sorry, and we're, we're fueled by coffee, so that yes. doesn't help. Um, in my vint- wintery mumin cup. Yes, because it's the cold, cold summer, so yeah. we have coffee and winter cups. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I think this took about 370 oh, grams. Yes. So. And they come in 100 gram skeins. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I had four skeins. And it's knit up on 3.5 millimeter and 3.25 millimeter needles. For the rip. For the rip. Okay. For and the, the end calls for the more. endless twisted rip. Is that the size the pattern calls for? I doubt it. I think it's actually 3.5 and 3.75. But okay. I'm a loose knitter, as someone likes to point out. Yes. So I always go so down. So loose. Yeah. So loose. So yes, that's true. One FO. One FO. Oh, uh, and I should mention that... Did we say that's by Melanie Berg? <laughs> Uh, yes, because we're practicing the German pronunciation of Melanie Bell. <laughs> Not Bell, but Berg. 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 <laughs> yes. I am close to the border. I should be better at German, but alas. I'm we not. actually speak German, but yeah. you wouldn't know. <laughs> no. um, I will mention that I'm wearing the Warsaw Lily top by Megan Fernandez. I'm pretty sure. Yes. And it's a cotton wool blend from Garnosa. Just for the record. Yes, and I'm wearing a t-shirt from H&M. Made by poor children in Bangladesh, perhaps. Probably. Yes. 
yeah, slightly. Yeah, not made by poor children. No, just poor just poor me. <laughs> poor you. Yes. Yes. So, I know you have a work in progress. Yes. I know you have more than one. Yes, because but... I had all the pressure of taking all the things with me to do the podcast. When you know in advance you have to do a podcast, you prepare. And then you go on vacation and have a really, really busy schedule of visiting all family all the time. So I have knit nothing. And I'm going like, with me to a fabric store? Yes, we were. And, and not eating sushi? Yes, that was, that was scandalous. I have three things in progress. I am, well, I have more, but I have three things I'm going to show you. This is the very wee beginning of Close to You. Oh, yes. By Justina Lokowska. That's really butchering, yes. I have two repeats in it. It's Tosh Merino Light in Steam Age that I bought in London last year. And I'm knitting it for my mom because it, the yarn has a lot of purple in it and I really, 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 really do not like purple. Which is obviously why she bought it. Actually, I had the Stephen West shawl in mind then, and then I changed my mind 5,000 times. Yeah. The friend I mentioned I'm going to London with is actually my bestie. Yes. And we're going again in September. Yes, it's going to be awesome. We're going to hit. So, what's it called? The so, so over. So over it. Um, I knit London. And Loop again. Yeah. We've been to Loop twice. Yeah. The good experience, the bad experience, and we're hoping for a good experience this time. Last time they were very busy painting the windows, let's say it like that. Uh, and talking about dyeing their hair. Oh yeah, it was so strange. Yeah. Um, and I'm completely changing the subject. Yes, sorry. I am knitting, this is Be Kind by Vera Villamaki, I think. Sounds about right. Yes, they finish. Oh yes, I can count five and finish. So yes. How, um, does, how does that help you pronounce her name? Just my finish. Okay. No abouts. Sorry. This is found pottery, also by Madeline Tosh, in also in the light colorway. It's a speckled colorway. I really really like this, and I have bought three skeins. It's going to be huge, huge shawl, and I really like it. Um, I need to get back on it again. But vacation is good for those things, those intentions. It's super soft. Oh, and it's from the Interpretations 3. I bought the collection a while back. There are so many great things in it. I have one more thing that I'm going to show you. And I'll just like to mention that all of her project bags are by her. Yes. And yes. she's going to make me one because we bought fabric. <laughs> Yes, and, and there was a fabric that just screamed my name apparently. Yes, I, I twisted her arm and made her choose it. This is... By, by purchasing it yes, yourself. Yes, I, I bought it because I'm nice. This is Clincher and I completely forgot to write down who made it. So somebody is going to look it up on Ravelry because I want to say her name is Ashley or something. I might look be, it up you might not be. Um, the yarn is not Melitosh, it's hedgehog fibers in the sock, it's from the first shipment, I was in the club last year, in, actually two times, this is from the first shipment that I got, it, the colorway is juicy, and uh, Fia has knitted into a shawl also, we were both in it. Um, I've been really, really close to giving up on this shawl on several occasions because it's so tediously boring to knit because it's basically a rip. Um, what's it called? Vertical? Horizontal? Horizontal? Rip? Yes. Because it's on the horizon. Yes. yes. It's ripping. <laughs> on the wrong side. And I think most people are familiar with the clincher, but at the end, you keep increasing ever so, ever so slowly. And at the end, there are these loops made with an i-cord edging in a that, contrasting color in a contrasting color that you loop the end through when you put it on i say i'm maybe halfway 
Have and you chosen your color? I was thinking of Madeleine Tosh in Pop Rocks because it's a bright pink. Mm. But also I had it against the fuchsia that I just got from Walmart and that was also really, really pretty. But it has so many colors in it. But I think it's going to be a pink or a magenta or something. Not yellow for once. For <laughs> once, not yellow. I love yellow. I just got a whole lot of yellow yarn in the mail. In the twist, uh, the hedgehog twist colorway, I got the new egg yolk, even though the label says egg yolk. <laughs> so just weird. Um, that's beautiful, beautiful yellow. Um, and I looked it up, and the clincher is by Ash Kearns. Okay, that was so close to Ashley. Ash it Kearns. was bas basically Ashley. Yes. Sorry, basically, Ashley. I just, I'm sorry for making you. We're not calling you basic. <laughs> just saying. Nor is this basic. Okay. <laughs> Am I basically putting your eyes out? I'm so sorry. Um, yes. That's all that I'm working on that I bought with me. I have one more thing, but it's a weird mess of making an applied edging. Okay, I'm good. If you're going to talk about it, you yeah, might, you might well do. And this one, I did not make myself i bought this this is from handmade for you oh that's nice uh nix nuts ceo uk it's been forever and ever and ever since i bought this it has gnomes i love the gnomes okay this the okay i don't endorse gnome love just saying okay once upon a time the big thing in denmark was to knit the healer company the big baby blanket made famous by Roy. It's a hep shawl. Yeah, it's, it's briefly mentioned in the new hep shawl book by Kate Davis. Kate Davis, yes. Yeah, it's the one that the royal family used. Yes, that might have been from Mary's family. Yes, um, Crown Princess Mary, we might say. We have to be all. We don't family. have to because basically she's called Mary. Mari, <laughs> Mari, the Guski, Mari. Yes, I'm and sorry. she's from a children's book. Yes. Um, then there are a thousand versions of making a shawl, which is half size, and this is a variety of the half shawl. It's mini comfy. Um, there is the triangle. There's a feather and fan lace, and I am making the applied edging, and I. Have Seriously, one done. <laughs> and they're supposed to be 45, I think. Oh, I'm going completely off camera. I'm just so professional. It's like she does it all the time. Yes, I'm a pro at this. See, I didn't curse. I almost cursed and I didn't. Uh, 44 in total, so I have 43 to go. I'm yay math. And is and then this a children's version or since it's the mini? Uh, it's knit out of a DK weight, so it's kind of like, even when Charlotte's were the big thing. They're like, still not the big thing in my world because I didn't... No, when they're like tiny shawls. Oh, oh, oh. And they're I just barely, those. and uh, yeah. thankfully we not doing that anymore. Um, because some of us like big shawls. Yes. Because big like... personalities, big shawls. That's how it works. Um, and after I've done the the snippets thingies, I have to finish up with an eye cord etching across the top. Actually, I might, the plan is to give this one away to my niece. She's eight. She did not ask for this. This is just me going like, oh, I think you want this. If not, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> too and, bad. And how should Shrek record on knitting stuff for your niece? Oh, that's great. She loves it. It's not scratchy at all. No, this is, I have to choose the softest. Oh, she's a, I love her to pieces. It's just. She is how a lot of children are. A yes. bit fussy and things itch and yeah. Yes. But that's a whole other rant where the people go like, is it itchy? It's like, no, it's wool. Is it itchy? It's like, yeah. Yes. I never knit for my dad. My dad will never ask for anything knitted because my grandmother knit for him when he was a child and that was the scratchy wool because they didn't have a lot of money so yes. she bought what she could afford and so he thinks all wool is scratchy yes. even if it touches what I make for myself or what I make for my mom and it's like oh it's not that scratchy 
he still has the wool is scratchy, I don't want it touching me. Which is fine because I really don't want to knit my dad a sweater. He's like massive. I am the good child, I knit my dad a sweater. I knit my mom's socks. And a huge, huge cardigan. Oh, oh the huge. story of woe. <laughs> That Have we heard this story no. a thousand times already? No. no. <laughs> Only 999 times. Let's go for an even thousand. Once upon a time. Once a upon sweater. a time, I knit a sweater for her. In... She chose the yarn. I told her this yarn will felt if you look at it. It needed to be that yarn. Yes. Luckily, it was a bulky sweater. Um, but it had a huge shawl collar. I don't know why my mom chose this pattern, because she's never closed it and she wanted to use it when she went for her dialysis, so sure, whatever. And she loved it, she wore it, which is what we want. And then one day I get a call from her saying that there's been a slight accident because nobody died nobody died but Except. she had she wanted to do her laundry and she picked up some trousers of her own my mom is shorter than me so Shit. yeah um she's barely taller than than a pygmy the official height of a pygmy. She like the official height of lima bean. This is lima bean. He has a personality of his own, and only two legs, so he's not very good at standing still. No, he's actually gonna. Do yes. This. So we hold him up carefully. Yeah. Back to the sweater story. <laughs> Apparently, this huge, huge cardigan. Yeah, it was a cardigan, sorry. Why do I keep calling it a sweater? Because it was a massive work. <laughs> and all sweaters are work. Yeah. Um, had hid behind her trousers. So when she put her trousers into the machine, she accidentally put the, <laughs> the cardigan <laughs> into the machine and it got felted. Like, it went from huge and warm and cuddly to baby sized and bulletproof and she only called to tell me because my dad said he'd call and tell on her if she didn't tell me herself so she didn't she has only gotten a couple of pairs of socks since because she has tiny feet you choose carefully who you knit for and i, I should say the only nice sock yarn my mom gets is because I can get a pair of socks for me and then shorty socks for her out of one skein. You like the tiny feet people. Yeah. And she likes ankle socks. Um, so it's like... Baby socks. Yeah. It's, it's magic. It's the fast. curse of the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a curse. I sometimes envy her. <laughs> tiny feet. <laughs> Mostly when I'm knitting, but yeah. But you just fall over like tiny feet go through. Boom. <laughs> I was like, I'd be like lima bean. Yes, lima yeah. bean is clearly, clearly Japanese. He just. I'm being so racist. I'm so sorry. It's just, That's okay. Yes. The Japanese are a cruel, cruel race. You can say that because. I'm allowed to say that because yes. I'm half Japanese. I'm actually a Japanese citizen. And I didn't vote, even though the embassy kept sending me, you need to vote, remember to register to vote. I have a rule, don't vote, <laughs> don't vote where you don't live. Very simple. Anyway, <laughs> this is a rambly show, it's going to be an hour and This is half. a missing podcast. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yes, there was a missing story of a sweater that was too big and it was too small and then it was felted. And we showed knitting. Um, and I think my actually, my mother actually still has it somewhere. And she does not watch this podcast. No. Oh god. I'm no. thinking my parents are gonna watch this. Because I told them that was what I was gonna do. I was like, I have to go over there at 10 o'clock, which turned out to be 11. It's still in the AM. 
Guys. A.M. On a very, very secret piece of paper. Because I kept forgetting what my podcast is called. So she made a nice little yes. sign for me. Because believe it or not, there was so much giggling. And yes, so much serious. Yes. Yeah. It's like serious black. That's serious. That serious. Oh, serious black. Okay. Oh, there's attentions. He died. I'm sad. <clears throat> Bringing us back on track. <laughs> to, yeah, to, to something. To so something. <laughs> Speaking of dead people, I love. Here's some yarn. No, this is some a project. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of dead people, here's some. Here's a shawl. Here's a bag made by the lovely Tracy of Thimble and Threadmake, who really, really should put a label in her bag. Yes, because it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I own two of her bags and they're just lovely and she's really lovely. Uh, she has great customer service and I noticed on Instagram that uh, she might have an update soon. And we're not going to tell you because we are going to stop. We don't have to stop. I'm sure, I'm sure Tracy will hook us up. Yes. She also has a podcast. Um, Simple and Threat made podcast. Possibly. Simple and Threat. Yeah. Could we can speak again? I'm just being like, all rude. I'm sorry. We're from sorry, the country of Vinny Sleep Valley. <laughs> Vinny Sleep Valley. He's oh, he was but foreign minister a few years back. Let's just say we can't mock Boris Johnson too much because yes, we can. Well, we have to at least admit that we have made poor choices in yes. foreign ministers. Yes, we have. Very, very poor choices. So we only mock Boris Johnson for being Boris Johnson. Yes. Not for his appointment. Yes. Let's just, this is the poli- this segment where we talk <laughs> politics and explain why Billy Sunday is really sleep belly. Which is the same reason my username is Mayfarm. Because it's just as translated from my last name as Soon. Dave. Soon Dave sleep belly. Yes. Yeah. It's because his uh, English is... Interesting. There was some debate about whether the ice was smelting at suppose. He's just I like him. So. Or whether we should have more blowjobs in the western yes. part. Now we have to our uh, read this podcast. Thank you. No. no, because I didn't talk about a sexual act. I talked about creating more jobs in the wind industry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Because that just blows. And yeah. that shawl just blows me away. Let's get back on track. Because, seriously, credit for that. Yes. <clears throat> I have to put that pen away. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry for those 10 minutes of picking. It's like dealing with a child. <laughs> I'm a children's librarian. This is, you know. Yeah. That's the reason I don't work with children. This is not the reason. Oh, that is beautiful. This is the Mahi Shawl by the lovely... Carrie Westerman. I still haven't figured out what her real name is. Sorry. Karina, maybe? Could be. Just giving her a Danish name right now. Maybe her name is just... No, she oh. has a Danish name. Oh, it name. sounds like Norwegian was like Kari. Like Karin. Oh, never mind. Sorry. This is she is really. Danish, I should yes. say. Uh, she's Carrie Bookish on Instagram. Yes. And she's Seriously, we're going to stalk her and find out what her name is. I don't think we have to stalk her. Okay, I like stalking people, okay? Okay, I don't. I, I, sorry, I don't. I, don't I apologize people. for bringing her into your life. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is the she's Mahi not Show. Sorry. She's not sorry. She loves me. Just sharing the madness. Sharing is caring. Yes. And I am working on the... Well, I just finished the second of... T- Three charts and then there's a border chart. It's a, an applied etching. Oh, you did one more repeat. The other day you had two repeats. Now you have three? No, this is two. It's okay. three in total. And then the applied etching. And then, okay. yeah, so four, four charts in total, but three of them are knit onto okay. the straw itself. Yes. yes. And I stopped after I reached the second chart, or at the end of the second chart. And one, one, it's uh, the prairie, isn't it? 
Yes, this is the Madeline Tosh Prairie in the Silver Fox colorway. It was intended for something else, but it was just perfect for this. This is really nice. And uh, the pattern says that it should be knit on a size 5 needle. This is a size 4. I like the fabric on 4s. A 4 is a 3.5 millimeter. No, this is because as we discussed, she's Danish. Oh, so four this millimeter. Is five millimeter. This is a four millimeter. <laughs> I know what the US sizes are, but I don't use US <laughs> sizes because I just get confused. So uh, always assume, unless I say US size something, it's always the millimeters. So we can handle the metric system. Always. <laughs> we know how to calculate metrics. <laughs> We're Just not saying. mocking anyone, not at all. Especially not NASA. We would never do that. Because they listen and watch the podcast. No, that's the NSA. Oh, I'm sorry. All the letters confusing me. Keep up, keep up with the stalkers, will you? I'm trying to. Actually, NASA is allowed to stalk me because I really like NASA. And I'm considering. Just considering, if Trump gets to be president, he I am I'm moving to the International Space Station. Just saying. So NASA. Anyway, <laughs> don't choke. Please don't drown. Another bag. Another mystery. No. No. Because this is by Renee from. Lowland Originals. I don't know yes. if you can actually tell what that says because of the setup. But Lowland Originals on Etsy. Uh, Tracy is on Etsy too. I think. Google it. Just Google it. Because, you are because I'm not doing show notes. Sorry. There is show notes. Written show notes. Yeah. If you want, you can come and visit me and you can read our show notes. Yes, and you can get a piece of candy because we have candy. Yes. Always. Okay, there might be candy when you get here. Give me 20 minute warning, there'll be sweets. I promise. But in Renee's lovely bag, and I have several of her bags, and she's so, so sweet. And Louise is always checking on bags to see if there's How anything. How well made they are. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is blue. This is very blue. I'm saving you up. Yes, it's blue. A lot of my things are blue because, surprise, I love blue. I love a lot of colors. Um, this is the first shawl from the Shawl Society. Um, did subscription. You see, did you see the email about the clue for the next one? Yes. yes. It's not a lazy. It, it could either be fingering weight for the medium or lace for the large. This is the large shawl uh, of the talisman shawl. It's not it's not very exciting to knit because there's a lot of back and forth and then a little bit of excitement and then a lot of back and forth and this Oh is it stuck in it? I just yeah, oh, yeah. Stuck so net. you pull all the way yes. Yes. You pull all the way back. <laughs> Oh, the excitement is shining through in your voice. This is why the amulet shawl got finished so fast, because it was fun. Well, parts of it was fun. The inner triangle wasn't fun. 